Android ABCD. In this episode, we are going to learn Firebase email authentication. Let's get started. Let's go to Firebase official URL, firebase.google.com. In this URL, you will be able to see few documentation and few quick tips about Firebase. Let's go to console. If you are creating the project for first time, you will see only one button saying create new project. If you have already created projects, you will see those projects and listed below. Let's create a project. I'll call my project as Firebase Auth. And, I'll, and you have, we have to choose the country which the project works for. I'm choosing India and creating the project. Once the project created, in the develop section, go to the auth menu. In the auth menu, go to the sign in method option. In the sign in method option, email or password option, enable it and save the configuration. And Firebase even allows Google sign in, Facebook authentication, Twitter authentication, and GitHub authentication. Basically, all the popular social networking site authentication. Before continuing our Firebase console configuration, let's create our Android project using Android Studio. Let's go to Android Studio and create a new project. And I'll call this project as Firebase Authentify. And then let's create the project. Let's switch back to Firebase console. In the Firebase console, let's go to add Firebase to Android project. And then we need two information. One is package name and SHA one optional key, which we are not bothered of. And the basic thing is the package name, which resides in the project. Now I'm copying the project package name and pasting it here and I'm adding the project. Once we add the package name and add the project, we will be able to download a Google services.json file, which is very essential to configure Firebase. Copy this downloaded Google services.json file. Once you have copied the file, go to your project root directory, which is wherever you create the project from there to your app module is called your project root directory. Paste your Google JSON file here. And then we have to configure our project and module Gradle files. In the project Gradle file, create the class path regarding Firebase configuration which is class path com.google.gms colon Google services 3.0.1 Firebase config uh, Big your pardon, it's 3.0.0 .0 and apply that plugin in in the module Gradle file. Give it a minute to sync all the configurations. Once it is sync, we might have to add Firebase library uh, to our module Gradle file to sync all the Firebase uh, libraries. So the Gradle is compile com dot google dot firebase colon firebase auth 9.2.1 i'll add this in the description and let's give the internet permission to our app so that our app will not force close now i would like to create two more activities for sign up and forgot password facility I'll call this as sign up activity and I'll create one more activity and I will call it as forgot password activity. 
Now let's jump into main activity. In main activity, I'm changing the text view to edit text and few configuration changes from text to hint. And in the hint, I'm giving a textual string saying enter your email. And I'll copy the same text, edit text and paste it below. I'll change the relative layout to re linear layout. So I'll have a better control on my UI design. I'm changing the hint as well. I need to create it. I'll give a resource value as enter password and then I will create three buttons one saying sign in and two more for sign up and forgot password activity in sign up button I'll change the layout width to wrap content even for the forgot password button I'll change the layout width to match parent and the layout gra gravity to center so that the buttons are aligned in center to the layout okay our user interface form is ready so let's map this user interface to our main activity in main activity i'll create button for sign in and sign up and for forgot password and I'll make this buttons as private now I'll create private edit text instances I'll call one as m email and another instance as m password now we have to create progress dialog for network operation continuity so user don't misunderstand it and then firebase auth instance so we need to declare all this in our on create or on start callbacks that i'll show you how let's map all the user interface components to xml by using find view by id method i'll use copy paste for ease of my work and then i'll take the firebase auth instance and create it in on create and i'll show you how let me map m email m password and then m auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance that will get the instance of the firebase it's a singleton class and we i'm declaring progress dialog here only and in m sign in on click listener i'll create a method called sign in in this sign in method i'll create all the necessary controls on sign in to firebase i'll use email dot get text dot to string dot trim it's a edit text and stringify control 
and then I'll use text utils class to check whether this string is empty or not. If it's empty, I'll ask user to enter something. If it's not, then I'll allow him to sign in with a valid password and email address. Okay, once we have created the validation on email and password empty check, now let's create the progress dialog. When, when user enters email and password, we need to show a progress dialog saying a network operation is happening. We are signing in at some textual string. Okay, once the progress dialog bo box is added, I'll create Firebase auth instance, which is m auth dot sign in with email and password method. And then I'll pass email and password and then add on complete listener and then context with a new on completed listener with the authenticated tokens. In the oncomplete callback, I'll get a task object. In the task object, I'll check whether the task is successful. If it is successful, I'll print it is successful. And if it's not, I'll print there was some error. Okay. Once this is created, I'll create sign up page with the help of sign up button and the forgot page with the help of forgot button. Whenever user presses on the sign up button, it should go to sign up activity and forgot button on the forgot password activity. I'll create a new intent saying sign up with the sign up activity dot class as a context to switch and I'll start the intent on the click of sign up button. It goes same for forgot activity, forgot password activity, and then I'll change it to linear layout and few default edit text controls with one sign up button. And here, almost similar components that we have used in main activity. Firebase auth class and edit text and button. Just map those buttons to XML values and create this references. In the register user method, I'll use create user Firebase auth method. I'll check, I'll validate the email addresses and then create user with email and password method. And once it is successful, I'll print it is successfully created. Once it's not, I'll show an error. Now a forgot activity looks like this one edit text field and one button and one back button. Once user presses on the reset button, it should send an email to the given email address. So the same components needs to be injected on on created on create method. And once button reset creates clicks, we need to send the uh, data to send password reset email to the email object or to an email string. That's it. Now all our project context is been per perfectly fixed. Now our main activity has a sign in, sign up and a forgot activity where when user forgets its password, if he remembers his email address, he can access the password. So let's run the application and check. Now instead of signing in, let's sign up first. 
I'll use my own email address. It's Ashok SLSK at gmail.com. And then I'll give some random password. Nine digits password. Then I sh wow, successfully registered. If I refresh the console, I should be able to see a reflected change. Yes, here it is. Okay, next thing. If I press on the forgot password activity, if I pass the string, which is email address, it should send an email to that particular email address. The successful message came and then let me check my inbox. Nothing as of now. Yes, there is something I can feel it. Yay, we have got the email from Firebase cloud server which allows user to reset his password now let's check in the sign in feature now we have one email address to sign in so I'm signing in with the valid nine digit password then successfully signed them this is the message we get if we change the password if we remove one password and check and there was an error thank you thank you for watching i hope you have learned how firebase email authentication works please do subscribe and comment on the video thank you